Save big at Menards. Discovering the perfect paint for your home has never been easier with Zinsser Smart Coat. Plan smart with interactive tools at smartcoat.com. Buy smart in store or online for home delivery. And paint smart with this advanced paint and primer in one. Save big on Zinsser Smart Coat at Menards. America's number one home improvement retailer for customer satisfaction, according to JD Power. For JD Power 2024 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. Welcome, everyone, to a special edition of Couch Potato Diary, as Terrence Crawford is back in the ring tonight. Uh, I've been breaking this fight down throughout the week, and so we're going to be doing this for more big events like this. We're doing another one like this for SummerSlam today, where I understand not every subject is for everybody, so if you just want a one-stop shop catch-all for everything we did in the week on a big event, we're going to put out uh, a big one the day of that event, hopefully earlier than this from now on, uh, but just the way things go. So this is your uh, mega preview for the Terrence Crawford fight weekend. Hope you enjoy. One of boxing's best is back in the ring this weekend as Terrence Crawford makes his return to boxing with a lot of interesting implications around it. Let's talk about it. The, the biggest story here is Terrence Crawford is back off of one of the best performances a boxer has had in a really long time. Two pound for pound, top at minimum 10, definitely seven, probably five fighters facing each other, and he whooped Errol Spence's ass. Just complete domination of one of the best fighters in the sport and one of the best fighters at the weight that he is going to be fighting at. When you have all of that going on, it might be pretty easy to then go, yeah, I got this for the, this next fight here against Madrimov. He cannot do that. Um, now, he's good enough that he can do it a little bit, but he, I, I don't think he can take his foot off the gas. Now, I don't think he will either. Um, I, I do think that given the relative inactivity that he had at times and a, a bit of um, rankings disrespect at times, I think that he is going to look to make a statement here and really look to put some of that pressure on um, some of the other biggest fighters of the sport and really make his case, or try to make his case anyway, as the pound-for-pound pound king of the sport right now. Um, it's interesting because I have come in here being like, oh yeah, this is the Crawford fight, and barely mentioned the opponent. And I'm still going to continue that because so much of the focus going into this fight is what is next. Um, there was already talk of Canelo Alvarez stepping in. We're already looking at, okay, would there be another Errol Spence rematch? What do you do after this fight? A lot of people are already putting the little green dot by him on Boxing Rec and saying, all right, this is a win. What's next? Again, he can't think that way. I don't think he will, but he can't think that way. But so much of the story around this fight is about what the next chapter is and not about this chapter here but I think the bigger picture of all of this is this is a fight happening in LA being put on by Saudi Arabia and it is objectively a stacked card one of the most stacked cards in the history of the sport this isn't just big name at the top and then local bar fighter versus local bar, bar fighter in the, the co-main event this is not top to bottom, but as close to top to bottom as we have ever seen in the sport of boxing. And this has been a real, I think, shift in how people view Saudi influence in boxing. And I have come on here and every we've talked about it with WWE and a little bit here, where it has gone from, I'm not even covering that, to, all right, it's too important to not cover, but it feels icky, to now people are like, well, with the Saudis here, maybe we get this fight, maybe we get this fight, maybe we get this fight. It has allowed boxing fans to dream of everything that is possible, but it is also everything that everyone warned us about when it came to sport washing, where all of a sudden, this is not the mean Saudi Arabia who is literally killing people for what they are saying on social media and restricting a number of human rights in their country for people who live in their country. Uh, you go visit there, you're fine. But um, for, for actual people who live in that country, it's not great if you want to say literally anything uh, against the government that's in charge there. But now everyone's like, oh, well, no, they're Santa Claus to the boxing world. And so it has 
really changed a lot of people's perception of what this all means. And I, I think that is a really, really interesting switch and one that these guys have been kind of looking for for a, a long time. This is th this is what they got. And now, but at the same time, like you're looking at like, yeah, every fight now is possible because these guys have absolutely just exploded any, pardon the pun, um, they have just absolutely taken away any issues of promotions, of networks, of ranking, of whatever. They've just come in and been like, no, this fight's happening. Here's $2 billion. This fight's happening. Shut the fuck up. Um, th that's what they have done. So it is it is a new era in boxing, but it is one that I think we always have to remember the, the, the cloud that hangs over it here um, as we get ready for what is, again, going to be a real fun weekend of boxing in, in one that, quite frankly, these guys have provided a lot of, uh, but we can never, ever, ever forget what is hanging over it entirely. When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Baker's, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices that excite your inner foodie. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week. You can also save up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with fuel points. More savings and more inspiring flavors make shopping Baker's worth it every time. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. All right, Terrence Crawford is back in the ring this weekend. Ca uh, Crawford versus Madrimov. Uh, but that is not the only big fight. And normally we do these for UFC cards. And quite frankly, we don't for boxing. Uh, but this card is too stacked to not do this for. So um, here are some of the undercard fighters you should be paying attention to coming up on Saturday night. First, it is Isaac Pitbull Cruz facing Jose Valenzuela. Um, Cruz went the distance against Tank Davis. He's now defending his WBA Junior Welterweight Championship. He feels like a real up-and-comer. Yes, the loss to Tank um, kind of stings, but he is really working his way into being a, a, a bright star here at the, the, the welterweight division and in junior welterweight and in this area. He could have a huge fight coming out of this, um, whether it is a tank rematch or some of the other guys kind of in that sphere. Uh, sphere sorry, He is someone who I, I think has an opportunity. He has the skills, and now he is going to have the platform to move himself into a, a, a really big tier in the boxing world, coming up with a, a big performance this weekend. Uh, the other one, uh, or another one, sorry, is not just fighters to watch, but fight to watch, as Andy Ruiz takes on Jarrell Miller in the heavyweight division. Ruiz upset the apple cart for a couple of years with a win over Anthony Joshua to win the heavyweight championship. Um, he then lost and has been trying to, to work his way back and, quite frankly, build up his reputation after a really frustrating loss to Anthony Joshua. Uh, while Miller is coming off of his first career loss, to Daniel Dubois. These are a couple of really interesting potential fighters in the heavyweight division. When you look at uh, like 18 months from now, Joshua, Wilder, Fury, Usyk could all be gone. The These two, I don't think they are going to be leading the charge for the next wave. We might get into that in a little bit here. Uh, but these are going to be two guys who I think are going to be a big part of the next wave of heavyweight fighters um, as this era kind of winds down. Uh, the next fighter is David Morrell as he takes on <laughs> Radivoj Kal Kaladvik. Apologies on the name. Uh, this one for the vacant WBA light heavyweight championship. Uh, right now, Morell is the super middleweight champion, and he can add a, a pretty high-end name to an interesting discussion at light heavyweight if he moves in and puts on a convincing performance. He has already gone 10-0 at super middleweight. It seems like there is a bit of a rocket attached to this young man right now. And again, this is such an amazing platform for him to be able to fight on and try to build that name up. So... All of a sudden, a win here, he puts his name into some of the conversations for fights with guys like Benavidez and Betterbiev and Bival. Those are the, the names that we are looking at and the type of names that we could be looking at anyway with a strong performance from Morel coming up this weekend. Uh, and then speaking of heavyweights, we are back in the heavyweight division as Jared Anderson takes on um, Martin Bacoy. Um, Anderson is up and coming American heavyweight, so that's why there's a, a bit of a focus on him. Bakoy, number one ranked heavyweight contender by the WBA, again, 
as there is a new wave of heavyweight potentially coming in with the old era starting to, to work its way out, these are a couple of guys who have an opportunity and a showcase here to put on an impressive fight and really show what they are made of and build up that star potential going into a really interesting fight card and a really an, uh, interesting time for the heavyweight division. So those are some of the boxers to watch on the undercard this weekend. It is such a treat when you get one of the pound-for-pound pound kings, and he is back this weekend under the bright lights of Los Angeles with a Saudi cloud hanging over for sure, uh, but the bright lights of LA welcome one of the game's best as Terrence Crawford is back in the ring going up against Israel Madrimov. Talked about some of the other key fighters on this card earlier this week. I'm um, not going to go into a, a full breakdown of those fights. Um, apologies for that, that that was initially my intention, to be perfectly honest. Um, and it, it has just been an absolute week of madness around here. So um, if you want to know some of the other fighters on that, uh, you can go back and check that out. Or if you are listening to the uh, mega preview that, that, that I've put up um, a little bit later on, um, then uh, you, you know that I've already talked about it. So let's break down this main event. It is Israel Madrimov going up against Terrence Bud Crawford. Bud is 36 years old, born in Omaha, Nebraska. The Southpaw stands at five foot eight with an unblemished record in 40 fights, 40 wins, 31 by way of knockout, including his last and maybe his most impressive, not even maybe, his absolutely most impressive, a knockout in the ninth round of Errol Spence Jr. back in July 29th of 2023. He has knocked out his last nine opponents. Um, he has wins over Errol Spence Jr., Sean Porter, Kell Brook, and Amir Khan. This will be the fifth pay-per-view that he is the headliner for, and he's been a pro since 2008. Going up against Madrimov, who is 29 years old, born in Uzbekistan. He stands at 5'8", uh, 11 fights, 10 wins, and 1 draw. 7 wins coming by way of knockout, including his last bout back in March. A knockout in the 5th round of Magomed Kubanov. Um, uh, again, that coming in March of 2024. It's back-to-back -back wins after a draw for him. This is so clearly a gigantic step up in competition, as this will be just the fourth fighter that Madrimov has faced that has a Wikipedia page. Um, he is a former gold and silver medalist at the Asian Games, and he won silver at the Asian Championships in 2017. So, um, certainly a, uh, uh, I was going to say decorated international fighter. He's won some stuff internationally, um, at least within Asia. This fight shouldn't be close. Um, th this is a fight to get Terrence Crawford uh, some more money, get him back in the ring for the first time in 2024, hopefully put some pressure on Canelo Alvarez to set up one of the biggest super fights this sport has ever seen. I feel bad dismissing Madrimov, but like I said on Monday, the only thing I see that could limit Terrence Crawford in this fight is if there is a bit of a letdown after his pound-for-pound -pound bout with uh, Errol Spence Jr. back in July of last year. Crawford has been knocking out some of the best fighters this sport has seen. And honestly, given the stakes, given the circumstances, given where both fighters were ranking pound-for-pound, -pound, his fight against Errol Spence Jr. is legitimately one of the most impressive performances in the history of high-level boxing. And so to come off of that and then to lose to Israel Madrid off. I just, I simply don't see it happening. So I, I think he gets the win and hopefully it is another pound for pound level fight for him coming up um, after this one. Madrimov is a good fighter, uh, an interesting fighter coming up um, depending on the weight class. Um, but I, I, I he, he is just simply not ready for this level. I, I do not anticipate the main event being overly lengthy for Terrence Crawford against Israel Madrimov. All right, that is our show. Like I said, we're hoping to do more things like this for big events that are happening. Again, if you didn't catch it throughout the week or you just don't want to deal with all of the other stuff, I understand not everyone who likes boxing also likes the Canadian Football League. So if you just want the one-stop shop, we're going to do a lot more like this. So subscribe to the podcast, make sure you catch all of it, and I'll talk to all you guys later. I am out.
When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Baker's, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices that excite your inner foodie. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week. You can also save up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with fuel points. More savings and more inspiring flavors make shopping Baker's worth it every time. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply.